I ask the question, what has changed in 2,000 years? The power of God, has it changed? The living word? The convicting spirit? The head from whom every joint is supplied? The human heart, the human condition, has it changed? Uh, The glorious gospel? The gifts given to the church? Demonic opposition? The world and all that is in it? Or the weakness of the instruments which God uses to accomplish His glorious ends? What has changed? We often have this idea that we're not seeing much because we aren't much. But, you know, God has been using the we aren't much crowd for years. Now, I'd like to read the account of the Great Commission in the Gospel by Mark. As I read it recently, it really shocked me to see the juxtaposition of two verses which the Spirit of God has placed here. So let's read it, verse 14. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I would think that unbelief and hardness of heart would pretty much kick me out of the system. (laughs) It would seem that they would be fairly big disqualifiers, wouldn't they, for going into all the world and preaching the gospel? And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. The population of the Roman world in the days of the early church was just about the same population as what we have in North America, including Mexico. And the Apostle Paul, however you understand the verse, states to the Colossians in Colossians chapter 1 that the gospel had been preached to every creature under heaven.